The Calia Chisel Blender is an incredibly versatile brush, and due to the snap and the shape of the filaments, which are shorter than a traditional flat brush, it can be used for both softly blended effects or sharp lines when applied on the chisel edge. Pat blending is a technique used for softly merging values and creating a gradient of color from dark to medium to light. I've applied the dark. I'm gonna apply a medium value beside it. And before blending, we're gonna wipe the brush between the folds of the paper towel. Hold the brush lower to the ground or lower to the table. And where the two values meet, you're gonna softly blend with a light pity pat touch. And this gives us a beautiful transition from dark to light. When chisel blending, we apply our first value. And we apply another value beside it. Wipe the brush prior to blending. Where both colors meet, we're gonna straddle the line and gently wiggle the brush. And this creates beautiful striations while merging two values together. Painting flowers with a chisel blender can create beautiful striations in each of the petals with ease. By holding the brush on the chisel edge, we get nice sharp lines on the edge of our petal and beautiful striations in the middle. I've applied the dark value. I'm now gonna apply a medium value right next to it. And a light value at the end. Wipe the brush before blending. And where the two colors meet, the light and the medium, I'm gonna apply the brush half on one color, half on the other, and gently wiggle where they meet. And where they meet between the medium and the dark, I wipe and gently wiggle. We can further highlight by applying color on top of our blended values. wipe and wiggle and we can deepen our shading the same way by applying it on top in a darker value wipe and wiggle the same technique can be used for bird feathers Use the chisel edge to create a nice sharp edge on your feather. Block it in. And I'm smoothing the color out. In order to highlight the feather, I'm gonna take white and apply it at the edge. Wipe the brush. To remove the excess paint, and I'm going to gently wiggle where the white and the blue meet. And with that chisel edge, holding it straight up and down, I can create a center shaft line.